use the castle for the, doing the electric circuits. And for, for me, it was, it was my experience had been students can solve equations, they can do Ohm's law, they can do one over R uh, to find equivalent resistances, but, uh, but they don't really have a sense of what's going on. And so I like this, even if you, it doesn't have to be for conceptual, I use it for some of the higher students as well to think about what's going on in the circuit. And so the way that the color coding works is you would have a circuit. So here's a, just a basic series circuit. <clears throat> and you start at the positive terminal and we'll call that a high pressure. So it uses an analogy often we're probably familiar with thinking of, of an electric potential in terms of altitude. A high electric potential will be a high altitude. And then you have drops and you think about it as a roller coaster going down. Well, this thinks about it then in terms of packing electrons and then having a little bit of higher pressure. So we know we're developing, it's an extension of, 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 of the fluid model of electric charge, so you're starting with maybe water and then moving to air, and we can pack a little bit more air and you can increase the pressure. So we would start up here and color all this as a, as a redder color, sorry about that. And using, and the colors coming, something about um, just using the colors on the rainbow where the red's gonna be towards the top and then the blue is gonna be towards the bottom, and if you've got violet, you can use that as well, but mainly using just, um, three or four colors, you can, you can analyze the circuit surprisingly well. So you follow along until you come to something that can keep different pressure, that can separate pressure. And so I think of it as, as air packed in there. And this would be, it could be any circuit element. It doesn't have to be a light bulb or a resistor. It could be a motor. It could be anything that in there can separate it. And then you start at the other terminal and color it whatever the lowest color you have. And so I'll use blue for that one. And then in between, if there, you can use an argument from symmetry. If these are identical bulbs, it will be something in between, so either yellow or green. And so we'll make it here like that. And so then you can say that if this has from the highest to the middle, from middle here, then they can start getting a sense of what is a voltage, that it's not the voltage that's moving through the circuit, that the battery is not uh, push, putting voltage through the circuit, but that uh, you can talk about a pressure difference, and that's, that's the difference in electric potential, that's the difference in pressure and that this is what's driving, that's causing the charges that are already there in the circuit uh, to move through it. Uh, where it becomes powerful, though, is when you start to have a change to a circuit. So here's our same circuit, two bulbs in series, but getting ready to put a, a second bulb in parallel with, that, uh, with one of the bulbs. So let's color code it first the way it is, and we'll get the same setup as we had here. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to take the blue. And at a junction, that's a, so the first time you're going through it, the students will maybe stop at a junction, and the junction is more like a hallway. It's the, it's the opposite of a resistor. It's giving you another pathway, so it's going to be very low resistance, so we have to keep going until we find something that can stop it. And here you could start, well, if it's this, this circuit here, it's the same as before. This is all going to be green, same color here. And this, um, you can talk about it. If there's a pressure difference, if this is a different color, then you're going to have charges moving into here no charges moving out. What happens if you push charges or air into, into some space where it can't move away? The pressure is going to go up until you've matched the pressure here. If this were lower, if this were higher, it'd be exiting until it's going to be dropped to that blue pressure. As soon as I close the switch, then you have, you can talk about the transient state. So it's going to happen very quickly. You're going to get a, to a, um, you're going to very quickly reach a, a steady state. But right now, if I've got red to green, green to blue, and green to blue over here as well, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have charges coming in over here, charges leaving here, and now twice as much charge leaving as is going in. And so that's going to take a while to think about, well, what? So before I had current coming in, the same amount of current was leaving here. Now I've got the same setup, but now more current is leaving than it was before. And that current, we're thinking about, we're using that, the idea that air is is, is, a, is a kind of compressible fluid, and that's our, ch our charge is compressible, then it's leaving here at, at the same rate as there. More is leaving than is coming in. What's that gonna do to the pressure in there? If I have, in, in this room, if we have people coming into this room and people leaving this room, but we have more people that are leaving that are coming in, what's that gonna do to the concentration? It's gonna lower the pressure, and so then we look at our green, it's gonna drop lower, it's gonna get closer to the blue, and that's where we, See how the circuit is regulating itself. So it's gonna go from, from a, a green to a greenish blue. 
So this is going to get closer to that low pressure. And you're talking about the transient state now. Right, just in the fraction of a second, that takes a very low time. And that's now, it's going to be a point, and so what's happened is this has dropped below the middle pressure, so I have more of a pressure drop off, I have more current. This bulb is going to get brighter. It's going to get brighter than it was before when I closed that switch. And that's, well, the first time you do this, it's a mystery to the students why that happens, because they've seen, they've seen parallel circuits and they see that, oh, I close the switch and this bulb brightness stays the same. And so they expect this to stay, keep the same brightness and that one to maybe not change at all, but this one gets brighter and this one go, goes dimmer. And now we can see why that is, because we've changed the electric potential, we've changed the electric pressure in the middle here. It's gotten, now it's to a, a lower pressure and it's closer to the, to the blue. I've got a greenish blue to a blue, so there's less of a voltage here, there's less of a pressure difference, less of a pressure difference. And so now I have less current going through this bulb as before. This, they'll be equally bright if they're identical bulbs, and this one will be brighter than it was before. The castle material... So, just, even if they're not equally bright, they're different bulbs. It, it's a very convincing visual for why in parallel circuits you have equal potential drops. Right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look. And the castle uses two kinds of light bulbs. So they'll use a long bulb and a, and a round bulb, and the long bulb has a higher resistance. So when you first set it up in, in, a, in, in a series circuit, I'm sorry, in a parallel circuit, starting here, I'm going to color this red, come to a junction, it's not able to keep any kind of pressure difference. Here's a resistor, here's a resistor there. I start at the negative terminal, low pressure, that the battery's pooling charges and putting them up here. So it's packing the charges on the top, pulling the charges from down below. So anything that has a direct connection to the negative terminal is gonna be at your lowest pressure, your lowest color. Anything connected to the positive is gonna be at your highest. And you can see that these two bulbs will have the same voltage across them